morning tubers. Today I'm potting up some greens in the greenhouse uh, to put into the aquaponics fluting raft system and uh, what I'm doing here is what I've shown you before if you've been following along I am making my own neck cups out of Dixie cups with a soldering iron just get the soldering iron hot and poke some holes in it and um, one thing you do have to be careful of is the fumes that come off of the Dixie cups uh, I have the exhaust fans running so it is drawing the air away from me uh, towards the exhaust fans and so um, I'm okay I'm not having to worry too much about that today but I am uh, going to be potting up about a hundred or more maybe close to 200 plants today so uh, if you're get some time follow along gotta have that coffee still early bear with me when we walk with the tripod there's some of the uh, mustard seed that I had potted up a while back and some of the lettuce with the wood pellets. Uh, I'm not going to call that a failed experiment, but I'm not real happy with the results. The lettuce down at the other end was potted shortly uh, before this. Uh, that's, that's my... Uh, in the front are my onions, I'm sorry, my garlic, and the back of that was the uh, onions, that's spinach. I'm going to pot up some more of that today. And uh, those are some romaine lettuce heads, beautiful. I have to take some of that in the house today. We're about out of it in the house. And here are my starter plants. I started a couple trays. I start them in um, seed starting mix. It is a sterile mixture. I start them in there. And then I am here. I'm using just a few pellets in the bottom of these things just to cover the holes to keep the starter mix from falling out. What we're going to do is we're going to put those in there, let them uh, expand, and uh, we're going to put some of that sterile seed starting mix in on the top of it. And uh, what my hope is is that the uh, with just a little bit of the wood pellets in the bottom, it will keep the water wicking up and allow the roots to go through it uh, when I had so much of that stuff in there it packed in so tight that the roots really weren't able to uh, get down through it so it's stunting the growth of the plant so I'm hoping this might work and if the uh, soil or the potting mix gets into the uh, the starter mix gets into the water it isn't going to hurt it it is sterile and uh, it shouldn't hurt the fish at all that's my thoughts anyway. I'm just going to pot up all these, fill them up, and then we'll go back and we'll add the uh, spinach, the kale. I'm sorry, not the kale. The spinach, the collards, mustard seed, and romaine lettuce. You see, I only got enough in there to cover the holes. Once it swell, it swells up.
here I've uh, wanted to show you the root system on a one celery plant. That is one celery plant. Huge. Delicious too. Been eating on that thing. Just about every day I go out there and get a little bit of it. This is my uh, leeks. You can see those are doing really well. And I'm also going to show you the onion and how well those are doing. Right there. Great root systems. What I have been doing is pulling these out, trying to save as much of the roots as possible. Poke a hole down in the, uh, the seed starting mix and pack it in firmly. Pretty simple. The toughest part is getting these out and trying not to damage the root system, but they're pretty hardy. Try to get them as deep as possible so they're down near, near the water line. Yeah, just making a label to stick down into the raft. Spinach. Now we're trying to arrange these things so that we got most of the stuff together. And so that I, as I harvest them, I can just kind of work my way down towards uh, this end, pulling this, the more mature plants down towards the fish. last one with the uh, siphon between the two floating raft systems kind of gets wedged on one side so you gotta prop up two floating rafts at the same time to get them in there properly and there you go This is a little different. This is my mustard, and for mustard seed, I'm going to go ahead and try using oyster shells as a medium. Never tried it. Have no idea how well it's going to work, but I do have to use oyster shell in the aquaponic system. It does um, bring my pH up. So um, it's a kind of an easy way to uh, add something that I already add to the system anyway uh, using it as a growing medium uh, we'll see how it works kind of sharp I don't know how well the plants going to do with it but it's just little pieces of shell oyster shell and what the heck give it a shot can't hurt 64 mustard planted in oyster shell. Thirty-two romaine lettuce planted in sterile starter mix with a little um, wood pellet in the very bottom. Thirty-two collard same mix potting mix I'm sorry not potting mix starter mix with the wood pellets spinach some of this has um, wood pellet in the bottom some of it has cotton I'm trying a bunch of different things 
more spinach. There's three flats of 32 on, on the spinach. Some more mustard seed over here. This is not doing well. This is all in the uh, wood pellet. The wood pellet is not. I don't think that's going to work. It, it seems to get uh, too packed. And I don't think the roots can move. Uh, do what they want to do. You can tell by this lettuce. That over there was about the same time that I planted this. So. This is stunted. I will probably pull this out and go with something else. God bless. Go play in some dirt. And we'll see you next time. I got to take some more lettuce in the house. For all those turkey sandwiches. Pretty, huh? Oh, I did want to thank uh, D from native tears um she has a great channel she sent me some seeds i'll be trying those out in the video later on this spring some okra and she sent me some cotton god bless d thank you again we'll see you next time peppers lettuce and tomatoes from the greenhouse